Okay, race 30 on your code. It's a total handicap hurdle as to two miles, six furlongs. So 0 to 140. 15 of them go to post. And let's hear the names of the runners. So number one is Grand Carpenters, two Ground Pounder, three Harmony Forever, four Bondi Beach, five Page Turner, the favourite, six Firebridge Boy, seven is Field Trip, joint favourite, sorry, Nature's Wonder is eight, Imperial Glory nine, Dan Silly Green ten, Sutton eleven, Dervagenthia twelve, thirteen Boondocker, fourteen Quick Man, and Springfield is number fifteen. Uh, the two mile six furlongs. Here at Newton Abbott. We're away. We're going around the courses this week. For the last week of the of the league. I think we've got another 66 days to go before it starts all over again. And they're through the first hurdle and everybody's over it. So that's one of their favourites. Page turn that leads with Quick Man. They go into the second. They both jump it. Everybody's over it. The one right at the rear at the moment as well. Detached is Sutton. But it's Page Turner that's taken them up now by a couple of lengths to Quick Man. Then we've got Firebridge Boy and Nature's Wonder. One against the fence on the inside is Grand Carpenters. Just on the outside of that is Ground Pounder. And we've got Bondi Beach and Field Tripper a little bit wide. Against the fence is Dan Silly Green with the red cap. And we've got uh, Harmony Forever in the blue. The one that's got really out wide was Boom Docker, but he's managed to move himself towards a running round. Sutton's done well to get back into the pack. They take the third. Everybody's over that. So it's still Page Turner that leads us by a couple to Quick Man. And being followed through by Graham Carpenter's Ground Pound and Friarbridge Boy all together. And then we've got Nature's Wonder. And then Silly Green. And they're followed through by Springfield and Dervagenthia. Blue Silks of Harmony and Forever. Being pushed on a little bit to get better position. And we've got Imperial Glory. On the inside is Saturn. Out wide still is Bondi Beach. And the two at the rear are just Boondocker and Field Trip. Right, still got a couple of miles to run here. Bowling along here at Newton Abbott. They hit the fourth. And everybody skips over that. And slow jump at the rear by Field Trip. Page Turner still leads. By three to four. To Quick Man. Go to the fifth flight. Everybody's over it. Slow jump there by Dan Silly Green. And the White Silks. But it's still Page Turner. I've never been to Newton Abbott. Don't know where that is. I really should learn my home country's geography a little bit better. But it's still Page Turner. Happily bowling along in front. A little bit stretched out here. There's probably 15 lengths between first and last. Through half of the hurdles. It's Page Turner that bowls along. And it's Quick Man. Under a little bit of pressure there, being pushed along by his jockey. As his Firebridge boy to get a better position. And then we've got Ground Carpenters and Ground Pounder. We take the six. And there's six more flights to go. Poor jump there by Boondocker. And he's got some time to make out. They're into the seventh. Oh, and Boondocker clipped the top of that hurdle there. And he's not done himself any favours. Oh, oh, stuck up in the grandstands. We go past the finishing line for the first time with a circuit to go, which is just over a mile and a furlong. It's Page Turner that still leads. And they've been thrown by, by Quick Man and Grand Carpenters, Firebridge Boy and Silly Gr Green, Ground Pounder. Springfield's out wide, as is Dervagenthia. Not doing themselves any favours there. Let's, and they approach to take the eighth. Everybody skips over that. Boondock is still at the rear and is a three to four lengths detached. And we're inside the final mile now. And it's Page Turner that still leads us from Quick Man and Grand Carpenter. Dan Silly Green's made a little progress up against the running route. Outside of those Firebridge Boy. And we've got Ground Pounder. Nature's Wonder wide. Dervigent Theory is inside of that. And outside of Dervigent Theory is Field Trip. And we've got Imperial Glory, Nature's Wonder, Springfield under a little bit of pressure, going to get better position, as is Sutton, Harmony Forever, Bondi Breach against the Rowl and Boondocker in the rear. So Page Turner's lead has been cut now down just to by two to three. And Quick Man in second, they take the ninth. Everybody skips over that. That's still Page Turner, although Ground Pounder out wide in the hoops. From our champion national hunt trainer this year, Josh Sutherland. They take the tenth. Slow jump there by Ground Pounder. But it's Page Turner that leads, but Phil trips on his haunches now, just by half a length. And we've got Springfield, Ground Pounders, 
doing well down Silly Green against the French got a plum ride as has ground carpenters a few out wide Firebridge boy under a little bit of pressure We're inside three and a half furlongs couple left to negotiate it's Page Turner that leads but he's put under pressure now by Phil Trip. Phil Trip just starts to nose in front the ones chasing through a ground carpenters Firebridge boy Imperial Glory ground pounder seems to be treading water but it's Phil Trip that takes it up inside the two now it's Phil Trip that leads from Page Turner by half a length on the outside is Firebridge boy it's these three starting to pull away but here comes Ground Pounder. They take the 11th. A great jump there by Ground Pounder. Firebridge Boy jumps himself into the lead. Phil Tripp's got nothing left. Firebridge Boy takes it up now from Page Turner and Ground Pounder. It's these three as they take the last. They all jump it well, but Firebridge Boy on the outside. It's Ground Pounder. The weight might tell here. So it's Firebridge Boy, Ground Pounder. Ground Pounder looks like he may well nose in front. Ground Pounder, Firebridge Boy. Ground Pounder, Ground Pounder, I think, just by a nose from Firebridge Boy. Good run there by Josh, Josh's Holt. Karen Fair, man of weight. Let's see the replay. Here's another winner for our Josh. Bad luck for Jim. Jim didn't think he would do particularly well in the handicaps. I read in the forums. Certainly, yeah, another second place. <laughs> so 20 to 1. Not bad for a champion trainer. I think you should have had some money on that. I'm sure the trainer's notes would have made you feel less. So it's number one is Ground Pounder for Joshua Sutherland. Second is Firebridge Boy for Jim Murray. Third was Page Turner, our long-time leader for Obi-Wan. Fourth was Imperial, Imperial Glory for Dan Danny French. Fifth was Derva Genthia for Alex Cherry.